and some of you may know this is a, and some of you may not know, this is a prison television. They're made out of clear plastic so you can see inside. The issue is in prison, they don't put speakers in them because they don't want speakers to start fights. So the inmates have to listen to television. Hey, there's Heller Poloff. Listen to uh, the television using a headset. Until now, I've hacked this one and gotten into it. High temperature 35 degrees. That is it. We start off with rain and snow showers possible on ah. Monday. Winds continuing from the southwest as Here's well. a digi-key part number. Tuesday, it's a 32 millimeter Wednesday, we're gonna start dry, speaker. Fits great. Winds are gonna continue. Works Coming well. Off, warming us up to near 50 Let me mute Heather here. for Wednesday. Thursday, bringing in the rain. So if you can defeat the security screws, which I have a technique for that, you can get in and install yourself a couple of speakers. That's all that's missing from the device. You're not going to, uh, you know, have thunderous bass watching an action movie, but for what I'm using it for in the shack, this is fantastic. This particular TV is made by ClearTech. It is a CTTV L8NS with a TFT display, which is a really nice LCD display. And what was more impressive is when I got into it, I discovered that there's actually inside a Samsung tuner in it, which Samsung makes pretty decent tuners. So I was pretty pleased to find that out. So this whole unit is put together with multiple screws around the case. All the way around. And these are security screws. So if you're some person with nefarious purposes, uh, you're not going to get past this too easily without uh, a little bit of doing. And then when you do, the other thing to keep in mind is that these posts in here, when you tamper with the screws, they turn a milky white. So it's very easy to tell if the security screws in these televisions have been tampered with because the locking screw post and the other half of the mold will kind of turn a little bit of a white and it's very easy to tell they've been messed with. But this is the security screw in question. The head of it is, uh, I can't even get it to focus, it's so goofy looking, but um, with a bit of doing and the right tools you can defeat these. I am not going to show you how, but they can be removed. What I'm doing with mine is I'm just tossing them into a bin because I want to match the coarse pitch and thread depth and replace them with just some regular screws. So if I do need back into this thing for some reason, I can get in and uh, make any repairs that I might need to do. Obviously, this is a pretty good product. If there were going to be repair issues, it would be because of something I've done. But uh, I have not had any issues and I've simply just put it back together with some tape around the seams for now until I match up some screws. The toughest thing to have to figure out was on this small little connector of the four pins, what pins are used for what purpose. And what I managed to do, and moving the light here, um, was to look up the data sheet for the amplifier. And it is an SA7496L, and they are using the SOP2375-127 version, the surface mount version. So what I was able to do from the data sheets is they give you a typical circuit application example. And I was able to figure out that marked on the board is C30, and that is tied to pin 17. So by doing some basic, simple continuity checks, and I've done all this for you, I was able to determine where pin 17 comes out. It actually goes under the chip and comes out the, the rear of it over by the connector. So I was able to isolate out what pin 17 was, which you can see is marked as output left, and then draw up a simple schematic. So this is the edge of the board. This is the other little edge of the board, and I think this is labeled as CN1. And the order of the pins are left output, a ground for the left speaker, right output, a ground for the right speaker. Those are all the pinouts. And again, 
I omitted this connector altogether. I just didn't want to look it up. I got tired of trying to hunt down this connector. I looked a little bit, but I really didn't dig too much into it. And uh, he's a tiny little bugger. So I imagine somebody somewhere sells the mating connector, the female that this plugs into. I opted to just forget about it, abandon it, unsolder it, and put in my own speaker wires. And here was the board wiring that I did. Again, I removed the connector on purpose. Uh, I didn't want to monkey around with it, as I've said before. And then here is the left, a ground, a right, and a ground. And those are all the speaker wires. And this little, tiny little chip is the 2-watt stereo amplifier that is used in this particular television. So once I got everything open, the only thing I really needed to do was mount my speakers. I soldered on my leads first, and then just using three little blobs of uh, hot glue, just on the very edge, just to glue it into place. The 32 millimeter speaker fits in there perfectly. That's all it took to put it back together. And now I have sound and uh, pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. Get everything installed and your speakers are in and working. One thing you can do is go into the menu, go into the speaker menu, Oop. go down here to treble and bass. And there's a balance control hidden in here. So we'll slide it all the way over to the left. And now sound is only coming out the left side. You can tell, sort of, there's nothing coming out of the right speaker. All the sound's out of the left. So now I can take and roll that balance all the way over. And now, at 100%, there's only sound out of the right speaker. So it's nice to know, let me mute this, nice to know that the balance control is working, and I've got sound out of both speakers, and it's going to kind of be a fun little thing to have in the ham shack down here in, in the basement uh, to watch weather uh, during severe weather season. And uh, the Flintstones, I guess, when I'm not doing anything else. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope uh, that you find this useful. Thanks.